All right, I am back with another crossword puzzle. This time I'm going to be discussing Saturn and Aquarius. So Saturn is currently in Aquarius. Okay, my screen just acted up. I think it's this advertisement. But Saturn is currently in Aquarius. So one of the things I'll be doing while I complete this crossword puzzle is I'll be looking for words that have to do with Saturn and Aquarius. But also since it's Aries season, I'll be looking for words that deal with Aries as well. Now, I'm going to be discussing some of the possible manifestations of Saturn and Aquarius, and you can definitely see it taking place right now. So there is a need to be quite concerned. I don't know why the screen is doing this again, Saturn and Aquarius, but um, there is a reason to be, well, quite a few reasons to be very concerned about Saturn's ingress into Aquarius. Basically, we're looking at tyranny. So governments could become tyrannical due to Saturn being in Aquarius. And also uh, Saturn in Aquarius just makes me think of governments uniting because Aquarius is a sign of unification. So that's like the governments of the world coming together, uniting under one cause. Also Saturn in Aquarius makes me think of the Illuminati. So you can basically say with Saturn in Aquarius, the Illuminati is coming out to the forefront and they're gonna be in total control in a minute. Like already, uh, Saturn and Aquarius, that could deal with the restriction of our liberties and you're seeing that go down right now. People are being told to stay in their homes. People are, uh, and cur curfews are being imposed as we speak. Um, um, where I'm at, Arizona, we haven't had a curfew yet, but I'm thinking it's going to come in a matter of days, if not tomorrow. So we are really at a crazy time right now. So let me just get started with this crossword puzzle. And like I said, oh, wow, China set. So that's the name of the crossword puzzle for today. How telling, because this virus came out of Wuhan, China. And again, like I said before, this is Papa was a rolling stone. Papa was a rolling stone. But yeah, um, like I was saying before, I definitely believe that whether this virus is real or fake, I believe that it's being used to foster a hidden agenda. I believe that this is a major shift in terms of government rule. And Saturn and Aquarius can bring about socialism, also communism. It can deal with extremism in general. Five across cut at an angle. I thought that was bias, but we'll go down. One down. So Papa, Papa, Saturn, Aquarius, basically government's gonna definitely become big Papa. One down, Punxsutawney Groundhog, Phil. Two down, anagram of 17 across. I'll skip that, 14 across. Sight of Jack and Jill's fall, hill. 17 across, product of pondering, idea. So also Saturn and Aquarius, we're gonna see more uh, cutting edge technologies. Already there's been talk about 5G being implemented. Some people are speculating that it has to do with this virus. Uh, I'm not gonna go that far, but I haven't heard positive things about 5G. I heard that it could really impact people's health, mental and physical. That's crazy how this website keeps going out. Opposite of obscurity, many. No. Opposite of obscurity. We'll go back to that. Obscurity right now, that's the toilet paper and other essential items. Oh yeah, it's really going down. Don't be surprised if they institute martial law over the next few days. Martial law can be a product of Saturn and Aquarius, especially once Mars enters Aquarius along with Saturn, which is going to take place on March 30th. But that martial law could go into effect before then, like when Mars is at the 29th degree of Capricorn. But you can kind of say it's already being rolled out because again, curfews are being imposed. People are being told to stay in the house. We are being bombarded with propaganda about this virus. Eight down, superlative 
suffix. I was going to do this live, but I got a lot to do. So I didn't want to, you know, get carried away on my live stream because you know how I can get two down. This got to be eight. Three down. SOS, plea. Like right now, these people up at the top, they're making pleas for people to stay at home, which I think is some bullshit. Get up, arise. Now that what that's what could happen with Saturn and Aquarius, especially when Jupiter joins Saturn and Aquarius at the end of this year. People might start rising up. People might start getting fed up. You might start seeing people assembling, even though they're saying keep that social distance. That social distance is very Saturn and Aquarius, because Aquarius is the sign of being aloof. It's a sign of alienation and ostracization. So people are already, from what I heard, acting a fool in stores if people don't stay six feet away from them. So they basically are recommending that people stay six feet away from each other while they're in stores. Bevel. So this is really getting crazy. And for those people that think this, you know, uh, being locked in or this lockdown is cute, there's nothing cute about it. And you're going to find out in a minute. Because I, I see people, you know, on YouTube making videos about, oh, what we're doing during the quarantine, acting like this is some fun type of event. They're going to find out in a minute. Government ain't playing around no more. And like I said, Aquarius is about the Illuminati. So... This is like the Illuminati taking full control. Now, we want, we might be getting some mercy once Saturn goes retrograde and goes back into Capricorn, but then it's going to return back to Aquarius later on this year. So once it gets fully into Aquarius, we can really look at drastic changes in government and even the whole world. As you can already see, it's going down right now. Superlative suffix, est. Six down, turns volcanic, erupts. Just like this whole virus thing has erupted, fear has erupted in the hearts and minds of the American public and people all throughout the world. I do believe that this situation is being overhyped, overblown. Now I'm not saying that the virus is fake, could actually be real. And there is a such thing as coronavirus, but there's different strains. But I keep hearing that it's basically as severe as the common cold. Plunger part, suction cup. Thirteen down. Get eyes on. Get eyes on. We'll go back to that. Yeah, but this is no joke. So we can have a totalitarian government with Saturn and Aquarius. Um, again, like I said, socialism, communism could be on the horizon. Also, the 5G technology that can really uh, wreak havoc upon people's nervous systems and you know, their organs and stuff from what I heard, and that will give the government more power and control. So let me just read real quick about this one event that took place October 18, 2019. It's called Event 2001, I'm sorry, Event 201 or Event 201. Now it says the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation hosted Event 201, a high level pandemic exercise on October 18, 2019. 18 is a murderous day. The exercise illustrated areas where public slash private partnerships will be necessary during the response to a severe pandemic in order to diminish large scale economic and societal consequences, even though they're the ones crashing the economy themselves. In recent years, the world has seen a number of a growing number of epidemic events amounting to approximately 200 events annually. These events are increasing and they are disruptive to health, economies and society. They're doing this shit on purpose. I mean, this is the proof right here. Managing these events already strains global capacity, even absent a pandemic threat. Experts agree that it's only a matter of time before one of these epidemics becomes global, a pandemic with potentially catastrophic consequences. A severe pandemic, which becomes event 201, would require reliable cooperation among several industries, national governments, and key international institutions. So here's your proof that this is pre-orchestrated, this is pre-planned. Instead of pandemic, you could call it a plandemic. 
these are the people that are in control of events around the world. These are just a handful of them, but there is quite a few of them, but we outnumber them tremendously, which is why they constantly have to uh, push this propaganda on us. If you notice, you've been getting bombarded with emails about this coronavirus. Every time you go on YouTube, coronavirus pops up. Now they have these videos where they're telling people to stay inside. They got celebrities on board with this. Followed a curved path, art. This shit is getting crazy, y'all. Just get ready. It's no joke. And again, the main thing with Saturn and Aquarius is the restriction of our liberties. And that's going on right now. These people that run the world, they don't care about our safety. They don't care about our health. They don't care about us in general. If you think they do, you need to wake up. Now, Saturn and Aquarius will force some people to deal with the hardcore truth. There could be a great awakening, especially when Jupiter enters Aquarius at the end of this year. So I am looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to people becoming more enlightened. Enlightened. I'm looking for people to become more awake to what's really going on in the world. Also, uh, Saturn and Aquarius, Jupiter and Aquarius makes me think of ascension. So we're going to have to start trying to rise above this dark energy that is upon the world that is enveloping this earth five down headquartering 21 down abodes for toads pads that can't be pads 23 across blank don't even think about it don't even think about getting that vaccine once they finally roll it out 22 across, like a cat that follows you everywhere. Hmm, needy? People are going to get real needy. People are already acting very needy, going to the stores, trying to get all this meat at one time. The stores are telling them you can only get two at a time. Get eyes on, a spy. That's what's going to be happening. Neighbors going to be spying on you, trying to turn you in. 12 down, title role for B author. Oh man, I know that. Was it Trudy? No. Why can't I think of that? Oh, Maud. That's this old show from the 70s. 10 across, opposite of obscurity. Fame, 10 down. Discipline that becomes an insect if you switch two letters around. Oh, no. 19 down, back when, back when, one. But yeah, I'm not taking no uh, vaccines, so. not happening superficial appearance facade like i feel like this virus is just a facade for what's really going on saving strategies iras four down i don't know what gas a hole i don't know what that is fuel I would advise people to fill up their gas tanks just in case they act like they can't get no uh, shipments of fuel in. 25 down. Complexion, condition, acne. Oops. And again, I'm not doing any fear mongering, but it's on. And like I was saying with Uranus and Taurus, and then Saturn and Aquarius is going to help it. Like, this is the end of the world as we know it. 10 down. Discipline that becomes an insect if you switch two letters around. Fine. Art. 32 across. Artificial intelligence will become more prolific with Saturn and Aquarius. And that could tie right into 5G technology. 32 across, sync fixtures, taps. 35 down. 
the sweetest taboo singer, Sade. 34 down. Reciter at a slam, poet. What else did I want to say about this? The internet will be subject to more censorship. So YouTube might really start cracking down even more. And they've been really censoring people, getting rid of accounts over the past couple of years. So expect more of that. And I keep on hearing about people speculating that the internet might crash because now all these people are at home. Now they might do this on purpose and it may take place on or around the 30th when Mars conjoins to Saturn. So don't be surprised if the internet goes down or it starts, it starts acting wonky. Flow back, F. 40 down, answer an email, reply. Speaking of reply, the US Census is now out. I don't know how many people are gonna fill out that form. 33 down, Mama Mia Pop Root, that's ABBA. That's a common crossword word. That has to be saucer. Flying saucer. That's very much dealing with Saturn and Aquarius. We might have alien sightings or at least more UFO sightings with Saturn and Aquarius, especially once Jupiter enters Aquarius. 31 across. Name in the middle of middle names. Name in the middle of middle names. I'll come back to that. 27 down, tales told through generations. These are lore. 28 down, Arizona City on the Colorado, Yuma. Four down, Disney, 2019 Disney remake, Aladdin. I didn't know they did a remake. Oh, and, um, on YouTube, I kept getting suggestions to watch the movie Contagion. I never saw it, but I heard it very much deals with what's going on right now, like Oval's Round. I heard the National Guard is starting to set up in cities. 36 across, limb on a sleeve, arm. 42 across, steeped, uh, drinks, teas. I'll probably make me a cup of tea tonight. 44 across, reaction to a miracle, all. People gonna be in all about the power that this government's gonna wield in a minute. 46 down, censor with a high pitched sound, bleat. What else did I wanna say? Now the North Node will enter Gemini June 4th. So that has me concerned too, because the South Node will be in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is, is the sign of freedom. Also the sign of long distance travel. So that might heavily be restricted in June, starting in June. Also with North Node and Gemini, short range travel could be restricted as well. Sense and sens sensibility star Emma Thompson. What else we got going down? So Jupiter will enter Aquarius towards the end of December. Um, Pluto will enter Aquarius in 2023, but then it's going to go retrograde. It's going to go back into Capricorn for a minute. And then by 2024, it will be fully in Aquarius. So we really could be looking at some uh, crazy times by then. So get ready, y'all, because we are headed for a new world order. 38 downs, group of wolves or lies. Group of wolves or lies. Pack like this coronavirus, a lot of what they're selling is a pack of lies. 37 across, 68 across is dies, for example. Is dies, for example, whatever. 29 down, 26 across occupant. 26 across, flying saucer, alien. See how they got this shit in here? Very much Saturn and Aquarius. Aliens, flying saucer, 37 across. Blank is dies, for example. 68 across. I don't even have 68 across. 58 down. Hot stone massage, locale spas. 57 down. Caesar City. 
Caesar City, Rome. It's going to be hard to roam around, even though that's not the right spelling. 56 down. BTS fan group. I should know that. 68 across fabric colors dies. 62 across, magician's wand for one, prop. 53 across, blank and hardy, Dale, no. What was that, something and hardy? No, I'm thinking of Laurel and hardy. 55 across, what terrier's ages might be measured in, dog years. Oh, another thing with this social distancing, it could get to the point where, you know, this Saturn in Aquarius is really fostering disloyalty amongst family members, friends. You might lose some friends over this, especially if you're not feeding into the fear. 43 down. Also with Saturn in Aquarius, you know, already people are out of work. People, more people will be working online. And also more people will have to find alternatives to regular employment. Slushy drink brand, icy. 47 across, car attachment, license plate. 50 down, baby with sharp vision. You know what that North Node and Gemini can also deal with? That ID 2020. I should put up, pull up an article about that because they're trying to roll that out. I think it's also called the Real ID Act. Baby with sharp vision, eagle, eaglet. 53 across. Blank and hard. Is it Dale? No. Why can't I get that? 51 across. Pancake serving stacks. You know, the way they're hyping up this virus, I would expect to see stacks of bodies all up in the street. Again, you gotta ask yourself, is that a spoiler? Why is the government going so hard on this when the death count isn't even nearly as much as the uh, flu? 49 down, escort through the door. Show? Two? No. 55 down, prescription portion dose. I'm gonna be done this in a minute, but basically I said all I need to say for now, I think. Um, good thing is, like I said, we could be coming upon a great awakening where a lot of people wake up. People will be forced to come to terms with the hardcore truth. Astrology will be given more legitimacy, hopefully. Also, uh, research agenda 2030. If you don't believe in what I'm saying about what this government has planned, nothing but net sound switch. 52 down, property document. Property document. I'll come back. 54 across, hogs and such, swine. We're at the time where you don't really want to cash your pearls before swine because we could be dealing with some traders. 63 across, ocean landmass. Y'all let me know um, what signs out there you feel like if shit really hit the fan, what signs you would not be able to trust. 66 across, garden structure. Garden structure. 63 across, ocean landmass, aisle. 61 down. Oh, and happy Aries season to everybody. I'm sorry, I'm all focused on this Saturn and Aquarius. Shout out to all my Aries. 61 down. I will be doing a live stream for Aries season. 61 down. Groceries holder bag. 67 across. Actor, still maker, agent. A lot of these celebrities are agents for the Illuminati. 64 across, the count 
Basie Orchestra. 59 Across, its athletes have included Alvin Katmara and Katrick Meow Holmes, the Kitty Bowl, or is it the Kitten Bowl? Look at this, NBA. Organization with Rockets and Raptors. As you know, the NBA has suspended their games. I think all the major sports outlets have. 52 down, property do document title. 54 down, pair used in slalom skis. 66 across, garden structure shed. Done. All right. So let me know what you think about Saturn and Aquarius. It is officially on. So expect to see some drastic changes in government. Expect to see extremism in terms of government rule. Also, corporations are going to go through major changes. We've already had CEOs stepping down from their post. And this was prior to all this stuff popping off this month. So obviously, they knew something. These people up at the top, including a lot of the CEOs of these major corporations, they're all in it together. So some of these people, even though it seems like these major corporations are going to be, you know, hurting financially, they're eventually going to get bailed out. But prepare for a new economic system. Pre prepare for the new world order to be fully rolled out with Saturn and Aquarius. And again, Aquarius is the sign of the Illuminati. So just keep that in mind. If you didn't believe in the Illuminati before, Saturn and Aquarius can make it more a reality. So. Stay safe, everyone. Again, don't feed into fear. Uh, I hope everybody is able to maintain a level head through this. And uh, while I am very concerned about what's going to be happening within the upcoming weeks, I'm also uh, filled with faith that we're going to make it through. So again, I will keep everybody in my prayers. Please keep me in your prayers during this time of crisis. Peace and many blessings. Also, if you would like a reading, you could go to my website at rabina.com.